Dystopia is a place where everything is bad. Heterotopia is where things are different. That is, a collection whose members have few or no intelligible connections with one another. Check the currents. Never turn your back on the ocean. Welcome the commotion. Let the words wave off your tongue. What is safety? What's safe? Where is safe? Where's the safe? Opening. A safe has to have a door. A door of no return. Let's not just wait and see whether or not we return. Just dive in and never look back. I pray for a life without plot, a day without narrative. I pray for a life without plot, a day without narrative. I pray for a life without plot, a day without narrative. I pray for a life without plot, a day without narrative. An S-shape, a seashell, a sea glass, weird plastic, fantastic. A brown banana on a beach. Fish vertebrae, fish spines, spineful, spineless. Do you have a backbone? Icicles and waves entice. Vague fabric flowers, unraveling ribbons, porous rocks. Basalt, igneous, or is it firewood? Grind down to sand, sand, more sand, sand. Where do specters of productive bodies go when they die? Is my body productive? What is the product? Is my political agency a commodity? What is the fruit of my labor? Is it the fruit of my loins? I love that phrase. There's no such thing as a body disinterested in profit, they say. Blip, blip, blub, blub. I'm so blip. See my club. See me flimmer. See me flogger. See me struggle. Over yonder. Am I a figure? Am I a father? I don't know. I'm a god. Where is the waiting room of history? Can you put me in it to lock me in there until I figure out where have all the philosopher statesmen gone? Over the hill, under the sea, disappeared into all the laws that do not protect. Is liberty a ruse? Why can't despotism be a de legitimate form of government? Is it because there may be such thing as too much freedom? Let's parcel out liberty. Parcel it out. Give a bit of freedom to everybody, but not too much. There's such a thing as too much freedom, you know. And do those things have fugitive histories? Where have all the things all gone? Where have they always just been sitting in a room with history the whole time? In the scalding sea, it's always winter wonderland. On floodplains, swift geese moan, singed, summery, weird. Hunger within the slots, where the werewolves merge with the Mod Podge. Those wraith-like iconoclasts, sifting the siege. Haggle scum fleas, clamoring callalumies. Near the nitwit who is christened Stefan upon the cliff face, that seersucker fellow, lies a feverish beret full of the well-earned big eel. Often weary, they lie in a brimstone-laden bidet, scalding. They nap with the night squash, while in an elf song, twenty died and told me to go on, Gannet's clamor under the yelping swag. Before the laughing weird, the second maw, fearsome upbringing, forgotten in the swarm. After the weapons are drawn, lofty life raft, best last word, sermons not my own. Why the leaning white whale seal says, not blip hearing hygiene, not to ring the pen not to wipe the wine, not too high world, not with white eels, not even with the limb of the weaning seal. The wicked has been wrecked, came last name of the wage, made with the wine has been heard of run. Hag, foul, orphan, horny cauldron, forgotten is the mowed lawn, a widow's lexicon. Charmed with the ear of euphonium, forgotten in my hyper dwarf world. Out of the reaper's locust, minimum fail safes, in the middle of the mermaid's flow, over the whale spells, wide wharf, stymied to me. Dreams in the writhing scene, swaying in the wild game plank, different in grating. Gelled, flog, wetted in wailing, dryness dreams upon my dead life, leaning on land. I see jellyfish, no, I heard the wail, not sweet for sweet, not far fellow, not yonder your honor, not amidst the pelicans, wondrous elder, wondrous elder, same difference, maybe. Thinking thoughts, blinking thoughts, am I even thinking thoughts, drinking thoughts, blinking thoughts, dizzying sky plastered to waves, can we please just reconstellate my mind already? Find the translucency around the event, avoid the void, make space the space as mode of consciousness, a black hole singularity, microscopic and macroscopic at precipice abyss, ability to be without origin transcorporality, there is no mere keeping it together, your bones are bone dust, spilling ash fills the vocal cavity, sea like sky falls into sky like ocean, a fish swimming in your veins, a sea inside you. The sea is a receptacle of historical movement in a foggy saucer shape. What is life? That is a question. Maybe it is also a solution. Rhizomatic being, you step on the topsoil of your strata, catch yourself tripping. This is totally flipping. Rhizomatic being, the problem of empathy is the compulsion to feel. Being as being is sufficient, echo of idea of being. Rhizomatic being, you step on the topsoil of your strata, catch yourself tripping. This is totally flipping. Rhizomatic being, excavate your nomadic roots, trip on your roots, flip on your roots, make your roots, Take your roots, shoot your roots, loot your roots, grow your roots, owe your roots, see your roots, see your roots, be your roots, be your roots, 
E your roots, your roots, our roots, your roots, our roots, 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 and snap, snap. Alien, alien ocean. Symbiotic politics and ocean cities. Hypersea, immutable, causing ripples. Think there's nothing, this interactive, cohabiting. Future about to happen at the post of the past. We don't see sea life as having its own agency. Could the oyster, when torn from its root, feel anxiety? We are unwilling to be land creatures, ironically drawn to the water. Our living is so uncomfortable. There is a tension in trying to identify with the ocean, trying to put the ocean in ourselves. It's a lovely delusion, a nice narrative that we have sea water in our bodies, fish swimming in our veins. My thoughts smell like ice. I can feel the nothing behind my sinuses. And the light is so bright that I can't see dark even if I close my eyes. The world looks crystalline, like a reflection on water. Two-dimensional people become objects. Things sharpen in focus yet seem farther away. I pass them and expect on a plane to shatter. Panes of glass revolved and reflect shifting images of things I saw before, but see differently now. I see as a screen does, my vision seems sharp like a paper cut. The shapes before my eyes are so shiny, I can always taste them. The illusion will break even if I break the surface. I try to dive in, I try to dive in deeper. It will only fade if I make myself so soft. Feel the rays of the sun until it disappears. Well.